नेक्स्ट वील डिस्कस इंटरेस्ट ऑन डिबेंचर्स इंटरेस्ट ऑन डिबेंचर्स डिबेंचर्स कैरी अ फिक्स्ड रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दिस इज एन एक्सपेंस फॉर द कंपनी therefore it is a charge against profits the rate of interest is always computed on the face value the debentures may have been issued at par premium or discount but interest is charged on the face value it is an expense and charged against profits therefore irrespective of whether the company is making profits or losses interest expense goes to the debit side of the profit and loss account the other interesting thing is tds or tax deducted at source what happens is since tax has to be deducted at the source of the income when a company pays debenture interest to its debenture holders the company is the source of this interest income to the debenture holders so at the company is asked to deduct the interest uh, to deduct the tax on the interest income so if suppose the the interest on a debenture is rupees 10 and the tds rate is 10% then the debenture holder will get only rupees 9 in his hands this 1 rupee which is held back by the company is tax deducted at source and the company immediately deposits this money with the tax authorities so the company is deducting tax on behalf of the debenture holder and depositing it with the government on behalf of the debenture holder it's only the net interest that is gross interest minus tds which goes to the debenture holder the charge against profit is the total gross interest net interest is the amount that the debenture holders get let us look at the accounting entries when debenture interest becomes due debenture interest account debit to debenture holders with the gross amount of interest then when interest is to be paid we say debenture in holders account debit like in our previous example suppose the amount was 10 to tds payable is 1 with the amount of tds and therefore to bank the money which is actually paid or goes out of the bank is only 9 then tds also has to be deposited by the company so tds payable account debit to bank one and the tds account or that liability is closed at the end of the year the the debenture interest needs to be transferred to the profit and loss account so profit and loss account debit to debenture interest with the gross amount of interest the debenture interest has been debited with 10 rupees it should be transferred to profit and loss account is 10 on 1st april xyz limited issued 10000 12% debentures of 100 each at a discount of 10% redeemable after 4 years interest is payable on 30th september and 31st march each year past journal entries for the year ended 31st march assuming tds payable is 10% so we will pass journal entries for the year ended so 1st april xyz limited issued 10000 12% debentures what is this 12% this is the rate of interest 12% debentures of 100 each at a discount of 10% redeemable after 4 years interest is payable so interest is payable on 30th september as well as 31st march so what is what are the entries first entry is on 30th september what is the entry the entry would be debenture interest account debit 
to debenture holders. Now, what is the amount here? The amount here is 12% into face value that is 10 lakhs. But this is from 1st April to 30th September for 6 months since it's payable half yearly. Therefore, the amount would be an amount of 60,000. Next, debenture holders account debit. Debenture holders account debit out of this 60,000 to TDS payable to TDS payable is 6,000 and therefore to bank is only 54,000. Next, TDS payable account debit to bank, the company would make this payment an amount of 6,000. So these are the entries which should be passed on 30th September and a day or two later. Again, what happens at the year end on 31st March? The same sequence of entries is repeated with debenture interest debit 60,000 to debenture holders. Again, this is six months interest from October to March. Debenture holders account debit to TDS payable. Again, 6,000 to bank is only 54,000. So debenture holders account is closed for 60,000. Pay the tax TDS payable account debit to bank 6,000. And because this is the year end, there is one more entry profit and loss account debit to debenture interest. This amount is 60,000 plus 60,000, 1 lakh 20,000. This would be the entire scheme of entries for the whole year. Next, an example, a question. A company issued 1,12% debentures of 100 each. Calculate the amount of annual interest on debentures. How much is charged to profit and loss account? Assuming 10% TDS, what is the amount received by the debenture holders? The amount of interest is 12% of 1 lakh debentures of 100 each. This is 1 lakh debentures of 100 each. Therefore, this would amount to 12 lakhs. 12 lakhs is the amount of debenture interest which must be charged to profit and loss account. If there is a TDS of 10%, then the amount that is received by the debenture holders will be 12 lakh less 1 lakh 20,000, giving us. 10 lakh 80,000. So is it option A, B, C? It is none of the above because the amount which is received by the debenture holders will be 10 lakh 80,000. So the correct answer is 12 lakh total debenture interest and 10 lakh 80,000 received by the debenture holders. Another example. On 1st May, V Limited issued 10% 10,000 debentures of 100 each at a premium of 20%. Interest is payable on 30th September and 31st March every year. What is the total amount of interest expense debited to profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March? A. 1 lakh, 
B. 120,000 C. 110,000 and D. 91,667 The interest is 10% on 10,000 debentures. How do we know it's 10%? Because they are 10% debentures. 10% 10,000 debentures. 10% of 10,000 debentures of 100 each. This should be the amount of interest. Rupees 1 lakh. The correct answer should be A. Rupees 1 lakh. Debenture interest is always computed on the face value. On the face value. Therefore, A. 1 lakh is the correct answer.